Oh yeah, 2024. Hmm. Black raspberries. Yeah, they don't have to be all the way black. They can be kind of burgundy, a little sour, you know, like a sour candy. Um, just got done having a bushwhacker help me out a bunch with this trekking crank. Um, we're able to tighten this up a little bit on this side, the tension down, and that drew that cluster of gears a little, just enough to barely catch it. Um, this is the trekking combo, really expensive set of gears I ordered for long distance uh, bike packing to get that nice high gear ratio and stuff and it just hasn't ever, I went from the expensive trekking derailleur to from a 3x10 to a 3x9 just to get a little bit bigger, I don't know, slop on there to adjust it, that helped. And there's still a spacer. It's hard to see. If I flip the bike, you can see it. It's it's in there. I could probably take it out. But basically, the problem was this cluster of gears is too far out. And I like all the bike shops. I try to spread the wealth as I talk to. I'm happy for anywhere working. And I realize mistakes can be made. But when I originally took this bike in to be worked on, I had Bushwhacker do the headset and... Uh, um, Illinois Cycle do the bottom bracket and crank just as a thinking well I'll let the pros work on this and at least get something here it's kind of like a puzzle without the pieces and I got it back there was a 3 by 9 chain on it instead of the 3 by 10 I should have had and I was experiencing all kinds of trouble with it barely get it working I'm like something's got to be up with this so I thought it was that I got a little work, better working with the crack chain and uh, went back and forth with Shimano. They were super helpful. I think Josh out there at Shimano USA making sure the bottom bracket was correct and the spacer and all that. It's a BB70 where it's a BB801 or 800 is the XT but he's like yeah they should all work. Wow look at those. Look at those things. You can find them here in uh, Peoria, Illinois is where we are right now. Don't want to drop one. Leave a couple behind for the bears, as Grandma would say. There's not too many bears in Illinois, but if there was somewhere they came, I think I know where they might come. 